Hello everyone, my name is Dejas Patel and you are watching Dejas Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 15 of 50 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully designed this section. So in this tutorial we are going to try design this uh, body right section of the category page. So without wasting of time, let's get started. So I'm going to go to category.php section here from and here I'm going to first of all we need to set the crumb section from here just like we have here you can see that so how can you do that so simply I'm going to the card.php section where is my card PHP section so I'm going to the here from 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 yeah here is my www section and here I'm going to YouTube e-learning and then card page from here you can see that so we are going to function.php and find out the card section function and then card okay so here is a crumb available from here so i'm going to copy this one from here simply and paste that crumb from here by control v okay control has to save that one and here the category name available development okay so now let's refresh and check what we have here so you can see that our section is coming perfectly from here but we need to fix that out just like here we have to the center from here so i'm going to uh, css and here going to the category right section from here and from the all side we have a two percent threading but from the bottom uh, from the right we also need a two percent from the bottom we also need a two percent from the left also we need two percent but from the top we does not need any padding so i'm going to again come back from here and refresh the page i think i need to clearing the history from here clear data now let's refresh it so you can see that now the problem is fixed now and we need to move forward now okay so now the next task is we need the same uh, category name here so how can you do that so simply come back again to the category.php section and here after this crumb we need to set out with the h2 tag and say it web development okay so again not like that so refresh it or oh, not from here from here refresh it so you can see that our section is coming very good now so now uh, first of all we need to set out that one so how can you set that one so simply i'm coming back again to the style.css and here I'm going to set the h2 tag from here and we set the padding we will set padding from the left side padding left section from here from the padding left we need a 5% of padding and we set the box sizing will be the border box and the text color will be has 3f 3f5267 let's refresh and check so you can see that now uh, we need to set something more from here we need to set with uh, 2% from here refresh the page we need to set from margin top property margin top we need to two percent from margin top let's check out okay now i think this is very good and we have to also set the font size normal property of oh, sorry font size we have to decrease the font size from here 14 pixel let's refresh and check uh, too small 18 per pixel let's refresh okay i think this is very good now i think uh, 20 pixel let's see check with the 20 pixel 
okay now it's uh, better looking and now we need to also set the font weight property with the normal let's refresh it so you can see that now we have exit output just like we have here okay now we need to design this one so how can you design that one so i'm going to again into the category.php section and inside the span tag we are going to design uh, one caret sign from here with the a tag a href has first of all we are going to set here uh, has just because we are going to add the link later okay and inside that we are going to set here the icon with the sign arrow so fa arrow arrow circle left let's check out with that one so you can see that okay okay, okay. not from left we need a uh, right 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 section refresh it so you can see that but we doesn't need the circle from here just because we are creating a circle from there by using our CSS so first of all here we are setting the a tag text decoration none and then the color will be has uh, which color we have here just we are going to set that okay has 3f5267 let's refresh and check so you can see that now we have a color and then now what we are going to do here just simply copy that one from here paste that one from here with the span tag and we are going to set the height and width of the span tag the gight height with the 14 pixel and width also will be the 40 pixel okay and then uh, it's a border one pixel solid has 3f5267 and then uh, we need to set the border color yeah border color we have but we need to border radius property from here hundred percent okay and also we need to set the font size from here font size uh, 14 pixel let's refresh and check so we doesn't have here a uh, span tag height and width border one pixel solid s 3 f 5 let's check out with the category section just look at here yeah yeah, yeah. We, have, we make a mistake here just uh, look at here we made a mistake here onto the css section oh now let's check out refresh it so you can see that the circle is coming perfectly but we need to set out that circle with the 18 percent of fix uh weight let's set the important property from here refresh that one let's uh, check out with the clearing browsing history clear let's refresh okay yeah, yeah yeah we doesn't need that one from here we need to set the padding from here let's set the padding from the all side two person it doesn't need also a height here doesn't need any height from here so you can see that okay now we have a perfect output now let's check out with the one person of padding refresh it okay and let's set with the all site one person one person and one person but from the top we need only 0.5 percent and from the bottom we also need a 0.5 percent only that's refresh and check so you can see that our button is perfectly coming from here you can see that as we have here so now uh, also we need to make some changes from here it doesn't need any zero percent of padding from the bottom okay 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 
three percent let's refresh and check okay now i think this is very good and perfect output and now we are going to make one only change from here with the float right property okay so it will be going to the right side of the div okay just look at here just we have here on and also we need to set a margin from the right two percent let's refresh and check okay so you can see that and now we make some changes when someone hover on the span tag so we are going to change so it will be the border radius zero pixel and its background will be the has three f5267 and if the span tag have some a tag then its color will be has fff and span hover hover here just look at here and its uh, color will be has fff and then uh, span tag transition we need to set the transition property from here transition all 0.3s let's refresh and check so you can see that you can see that now we need to set the display block property from here so you can see that okay so now we need to change we need to some changes from here let's say one percent refresh it so you can see that and one person from the bottom okay and 1.2 percent from here and also 1.2 percent from here let's refresh okay so you can see that now the output is perfectly coming and very good i think guys this is enough for today in next tutorial we are going to design this section from here so i think uh, this is enough for today guys if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so we will meet you in next tutorial thanks a lot for watching guys stay connected with me stay tuned goodbye